Hey folks, it's your favorite heavy metal IT guy, back with Russia and Ukraine Part 2. The invasion is now underway, but let's focus on that hybrid war, those cyber tactics and cyber threats that are well underway and will continue to impact us globally well into the future. Just get it out of the way. We can start with those massive denial of service attacks that were targeted towards Ukraine's banks and government websites. Don't think about it as a loss of revenue for these institutions or whether ransomware would have been a better choice, but rather focus on what the real target is, the people of Ukraine. DDoS attacks fall into that category of distract and disrupt your adversaries while also providing a level of plausible deniability. Disinformation, red flags, DDoS attacks, destructive wiper malware, they're all part of the Russian military doctrine. Enter Cyclops Blink, a sophisticated piece of malware that can even be persistent across a reboot. The US and UK on Wednesday attributed this new insidious malware to the notorious Russian-based hacking group Sandworm. Yeah, that name should worry all of us. Holy crap on a stick, that is not good. Although the statement was from a routine advisory, not directly linked to the current situation in Ukraine, no doubt this will be disrupting infrastructure in Ukraine and elsewhere. Let's recall black energy malware that likely spawned VPN filter. Remember VPN filter? That malware that was aimed at Soho devices that was massively successful? Pretty sure routers are still pwned by that one. Patching is the order of the day, but remember to look for those IOCs, and if found, unplug those devices immediately. I've posted the CISA alert and some excellent Cisco Talos blogs with all the gory details below. That's not scary enough? Remember Sandworm? Yeah, remember Ukraine in 2017? Not Petya? Not Petya was a devastating cyber attack that would go on to cause $10 billion of damage globally. I mean, it's so large that it reshaped the cybersecurity industry. Ukraine was the primary target for Not Petya, and then it spread to other countries, as these things do. Consider it either diversion or collateral damage. Concern over collateral damage? Keep your ear to the ground on this one, folks. In the meantime, here's three tips. Don't expose the management interface of your devices to the internet. Keep your devices up to date. Use multi-factor authentication to reduce the likelihood of a password compromise. Yep, that's how we make it better and move it forward. <laughs>